Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do text scanning. So we're going to use the text scanner from V7. We're going to use this V7 data platform here, AI data platform for annotating our data set. So here we're going to have a data set with different kind of like recepts, and then we can actually like load them in. We can do training, uh, or like we can use the text scanner for actually like labeling our images detect all the text that we have on these recepts and then we can basically just have our data set we can create our own workflow and so on and then this will be the results at the end but now we're going to show you how we can actually like upload our own data set so we just have these recepts that we actually like want to annotate we can create our own workflow from scratch so basically here i'm just going to go back here we're going to create a new data set so basically here we're just going to create a new data set we're going to type in recept data set and then we're just going to hit continue. Now we can drag and drop in our images that we have. So I have a data set here with some different kind of like uh, recepts that we can use. So here we basically just have all these different kind of like image examples. We're just going to take like a couple of them. So here we can basically just drag, drag and drop in the images that we want. So basically here, I'm just taking a couple of examples. You can also take this one here and this one. And let's just take one more here. Um, just take this one here and then we can basically just hit continue. It will upload our data set here. We can create a new class or we can just use like uh, the pre the pre one that we already have. We can set up like some text classes. If you want to like detect text, for example, we can just go in here and then we just want to detect text. And here we have a string and then we just add a class here to our data set. If you don't want to do that, you can always like add it later on. Or also if you want to like detect different types of text, you can also do that, assign different attributes to it. Now we're just going to hit save and continue down here at the right bottom. Now we just, we just start with the basic workflow here and then we're going to like to like create our own workflow. So we're going to do the custom workflow where we're actually going to add the text scanner from V7 to automatically label our data set. So here we just start with our basic workflow. We have our data set here connected to our workflow. You can also just upload your data set, start your own workflow, and then you can connect your own data set to that. So you'll basically just connect it down at the bottom. But here we basically just go inside our data set. We're going to delete this line here. And then we can basically just go in here. I'm just going to move this a bit so we have a bit more room. And then we can go over here to the right and act like at these different kind of stages. So here we're going to add the AI model as I showed you in the workflow video as well. So I create this whole tutorial and playlist here with, with videos from V7. We're going to show like all the capabilities from V7. This is a really cool um, AI data annotation tool. We have these different kind of like workflows that we can um, customize and so on. I have another video where we go more in depth with all the different kind of like blocks we have over here to the right. Uh, for the workflows. So here again, as I showed you in that video, we can actually like create this AI model. We can feed our data set, the images from our data set inside that AI model model first. So we can actually like do auto labeling. If you, for example, like have an image data set that you want to do boundary box detections on, you can basically just annotate some images yourself. And then you can just train a model. You can, you can reuse the pre-trained models inside of uh, v7 here you can basically just connect that ai model to that and then you just feed in all the other images to your ai model you can have some review steps and then you can do like manual labeling if the ai model is not capable of annotating your images but then you can basically create this really nice auto labeling flow so here we're going to have an ai model we're going to connect our data set to our ai model then down here we're going to scroll down so we can actually like find the text scanner here uh, that we can use in v7 you can also use the text scanner in your own application so basically you can just go in here use the text scanner and now we can connect the model here we can just basically choose like what we want to detect here we're just going to we just want to detect text in the image so we don't really care about like what type of text and so on you can definitely like add that but here we're just interested in getting all the text we're basically just creating a text scanner uh, scanning through the whole document or like the whole recept in this example here you can also like have for example like invoices just pdf file like different kind of like pdf files that you just want to scan the text in and then you can basically export that use it for training different kind of models to detect uh, different file formats and so on but basically here or even like extract information about like for example from invoices uh, recepts uh, you can extract information from just pdf files in general but here we're going to after our AI model, we're going to have an actually um, we're going to have a review stage. So basically, after we have fed our images through our AI model, we're going to have a review stage. We're going to pass our output from the AI model to the review step, and then if we accept the images in our review state, we will just throw them directly into our complete uh, state over here to the right, which is our end 
data set and then we can export that data set and train our own models if we inside the review step here reject our um reject our um annotations from our ai model then we basically just feed it into our uh, manual annotation step here so basically if they're rejected, the annotations are not good enough and we probably need to do some adjustments uh, manually and then we can actually like, do that as well. We can even like assign team members for that. I'm just going to assign myself to an annotation here and we can also, I'm just going to assign myself here for the view step and also for this review step. So basically here, we have the whole workflow set up now. We have our data set, feed it through the text scanner. We scan through the whole document. If they get accept, accepted, we just throw them into our complete uh, data set. If they're rejected, we go in ma manually like annotating it the rest. And then we have another review step. If they get accepted into the complete data set or else rejected, we just go back to the annotation stage again. So this is basically like the whole workflow here. We're just going to hit save and apply. And then we can actually like apply our data set and feed our data set through the workflow. So now we're just going to go down at the bottom, choose an image. Then we just see the different kind of like images that we have in our data set. Right now I just have five as I showed you uh, that we uploaded. So basically this is just all the text that we want to, to scan in this uh, recept or in this document. This is basically just a PNG file that I've uploaded. You can also have all the other different kind of like formats. You can scan different kind of like, uh, like invoices, different kind of like um just basically everything with text inside of it so here we're just going to send it to the model so up here to the right we can see we have this workflow so right now we are basically just in our data set now we send the model to or like the image to the model and then we basically just do that for a whole data set we are just, just going to do it for the last one here as well and then we can basically just see here when we go through our data set our ai model is now running and then it will scan through the document and find all the text that is actually like inside of these images here that we have uploaded to our data set. So after a couple of seconds, we actually like have all the different kind of like detections or all the text scans in our images. Here, I'm just going to scroll through them so we can actually like see the results. And then we can go in and actually like go into the review stage. Either we can mark them as complete or we can actually like edit, um, edit different, different kind of like annotation images ourselves or all the annotations ourselves. So basically, if we just go to the start here, we can see that we actually like detect or like we scan all the text that is in this image here. We have change, we have total, we have cash, one premium toast, pan bread. We also have um, the amount over here to the right, but we also see that we get some false positives here and there. And if we go over here to the right, we can actually like see um, the, the uncertain or like the confident over here uh, as well. So here we can see we have 51% confident that this is actually like... Um, confident that this is actually like text but here we can see that this is a zero so we actually like want to detect that here we can go down this is 62 so we might delete that because this is just like a false positive here we can also see the other ones here so here we have 97 this is not good either here we can just go through some of the other ones here so this is also incorrect and then we basically just do that but here we don't need to like label our data set ourselves. We can also just like skip through these parts here. But here we can see that now our data set is complete and we can just hit mark as complete up here at the top. Then we'll go to the new one here. So now we end the view, review stage. And then basically we can just go over here and delete the, the, the detections or like the scans that we don't want because they're probably not text. So here we're going to delete this one here. Uh, and then we can actually go up here, delete this one, delete this one and delete this one and then we have all the text scanned in the image so we only have to like um, remove a couple of false positives and then the rest is really really good again this is in a view stage now we just hit mark as complete because we have all the annotations that we want here we can see we don't get any false positives at all maybe we don't need this information up here but this is again this is a still text that is not blurred here we can see that it even detects that this is uh, Bornga here we have B.O. R and here we can even see like this R here is pretty much scratched out. This could be really close to a P, uh, but it still detects it as an R, even though it might actually even look more uh, like a P here. So this is actually like a really good text scanner, as you can see. But we still have like some kind of like texture here, even though it's blurred. So it acts like thinks that this is boring again. So again, this is really cool. This is a really good detection. And here we just have a, a single one here, and then we can just mark that as a complete and put it through to our final data set. Here we can see we had detect hat. We also have some po false positives here. We can go in and delete that. Uh, we're going to, going to delete this one, this one, and then we have the hat detection here, and then the rest should be fine. So again, we detect all the text, hit mark is complete, and now we're at the last one here. Again, here, 
everything is perfect mark as complete and then we don't need to do anything else so this is pretty much it we have labeled our whole data set now you can have like multiple images like you can have like several hundred images you just pass them in here to the workflow and then it will basically just do the text scan on all the images in your data set and then you have a labeled data set within like 50 minutes or so you can have a full data set with different kind of like files it could be like recepts it can be invoices different kind of like text documents and so on but this is really cool to annotate your data set fast you can create a text scanner you can export the data set then you can train your own model on like detecting specific things it could be like for example the total amount um, in a receipt or in the invoice you can detect that you can also like for example detect dates timestamps um different kind of like formats so if you have some different kind of like filings like company filings you, you have different filings for that you can also go in and create um a like classification for that so basically you can use this for a lot of different kind of things it's a really cool text scanner definitely like check it out you can go in download a data set you can try like to create your own with a couple of images you can even like try if you have your own recepts or some invoices stuff like that you can try to just take some images of that upload it here to v7 use the text scanner that they have this is really cool and you can play around with it see what it's capable of um, try to see if you can train your own models or else you can just use it for for example class classification if you want to detect like if this is a specific filing or just different kind of like text documents in general so thank you guys for watching this video here and again remember to subscribe button and bell notification under the video also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future this is a really cool platform we're creating this playlist and tutorial about like all the different kind of like capabilities so i'm showing you what you can do with v7 because you can do like pretty much everything we have these really cool workflows that we can customize for our own applications and if you're working with like larger data sets larger organizations this is really good because you can also like assign different kind of like tasks to different people you can collaborate on all these different kind of like data sets the annotation uh, the training and so on everything will be available it is really easy to do it's really easy to train your models you can just export a data set train your own models and now it is just really easy to create data sets annotations and also train deep learning models that you can deploy in the real world so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now